So we're still waiting for spring to arrive in the Northeast, but elsewhere the season is in full bloom and that means the onset of the dreaded allergies. In today's forecast factor, we're going to see how new technology can help us better manage those sniffles and sneezes. Paul Walsh is joining us again with the forecast factor uh, to talk about allergies and um, what, is, what are they projected to be like this year? Well, you can imagine with all the moisture that we've had in the Northeast yeah. and even in the Southeast, of course, in the Northeast, we haven't got spring temperatures yet, but you know, that April showers are going to bring lots of May flowers. So mm -hmm. the expectation is it's going to be a pretty robust allergy season. Does climate change have an effect on the allergy season? You know, interestingly, it does in, in two ways. So more CO2 in the air is actually good for plants. They like that. Mm -hmm. And as it gets warmer, the growing season actually gets longer. And it actually has gotten longer. So the allergy season is longer. And the actual allergy, the plants that are pu putting off the allergy are more potent. So it's, it's stronger. Yeah, because we're building up all these, you know, different pesticides and stuff then, uh, you know, that everyone can beat. And it comes to allergies, too, I'm assuming. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's becoming a bigger problem, not just here in the U.S., but around the world. So, so what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, there's two things. So from a technology perspective, we've got more and more ways to manage our allergies by anticipating the weather. So even on weather.com, <laughs> you can see what the pollen levels are going to be for your city and get recommendations in terms of how to treat yourself. Mm -hmm. And there's more and better medicines that are coming out and available. Uh, for example, Flonase, which used to be a prescription drug, is now over the counter. So there's more of those kind of drugs that are available to help you basically manage those sniffles, which are going to be getting worse, unfortunately. Uh. Paul, thanks for the good news. We appreciate that. <laughs> okay, and thanks, uh, for the latest business and weather news, you can always go online at uh, Paul's blog, forecastfactor.weather.com.